Bad moments don't exist. Those moments when you suddenly pop off on a difficulty spike out of nowhere, those are not God modes. Everyone seems to have taken this one concept and defined it as a moment when your level of play suddenly peaks into an unreachable godly tear of gameplay. But what if this collective understanding is wrong? What if even calling them god modes is holding you back? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Top players like Vagze and Shigatora have become known for seemingly having nerves of steel. When we witness these players popping off, we tend to label these moments as god modes. Heck, we even do this with ourselves when we suddenly have moments like this. And I'm far from being the exception here. But what if there's a more accurate way of perceiving these moments? Something much more empowering than categorizing them as god modes. To understand how this could be, we need to describe what typically goes on when a player experiences this. You're playing a map that happens to have a large difficulty spike that you may or may not be aware of. You settle into the map as the diff spike approaches, and you're just vibing. You don't notice it happening, until you do. For a split moment, you suddenly become aware that you're playing something way more difficult than you're usually able to pull off. You notice how strangely natural it feels, like it just connects. Before it fully settles in, you start feeling a rush. Holy shit, what am I doing? I usually struggle to pass something like this. Do I relax turn on? You may start feeling pressure to keep the performance up. You don't want to lose this. And then you miss. It's Jover. You wonder if you could do it again, but it doesn't play out the same way it did the first time. So if that wasn't a god mode, then what just happened? Well, that moment just before you first realized what was happening, that, my friend, is you being fully immersed in the flow state. You weren't thinking about playing the map. You weren't even conscious about how you were tapping or aiming. But you were in the zone. And you broke out of that zone when you realized how it felt. You pulled your focus back out into that conscious space where thoughts float around and your flow state was broken. And what did you do after that? You either attempted to do it again, failing to replicate it, or you assumed that you wouldn't be able to do it again because, well, it's a god mode. Attempting it again would show how it was merely a glitch and that you're nowhere near being able to play like that consistently. This here is why perceiving these moments as god modes is holding you back. Because you can replicate this. You literally just did it. The fact that you just engaged your flow state and reached your fuller potential at all is proof that you are capable of this. I say this because you engage with your flow state every day while brushing your teeth, taking a shower, and taking this moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You don't think about doing these things. You just think about starting it, and then you're fully immersed cruising on autopilot. Things like this are more malleable than we think. I truly believe that once you stop categorizing these highlights as god nodes, and instead see them as your truer potential shining through moments of pure flow state, that's when things will start to get interesting. Being aware of it like this should encourage you to explore how you can bring that level of performance into each time you play. We are all capable of tapping into this flow state and finding out what we are truly able to pull off in Osu. And speaking of what we're truly capable of, here's why playing more can be a bit of a paradox. 